Hey guys, it's Carrie from Carrie Love Cat, and I haven't made a video in a while because, um, like I said in my last video, I'm getting married in about a month, so I don't really have time to craft, and it's the end of the year, so just a lot of stuff going on. But today, I went into my um, scrapbook stuff, and there was a pile of pictures that I still had. So what I did was I, um, and I usually mat them all before I put them in my scrapbooks. So what I did was I just separated them out into envelopes and um, these will stack flatter than if I had them in photo boxes. So I separated them like that. So then if I have like an hour, half hour, or, you know, downtime, we're watching the baseball game or something, I'll just grab, and here I put three in because I didn't have that many photos, but I can just grab this and mat them and then stick them in my scrapbooks and then go back and embellish later. So it's kind of like grab and go and then it's not so overwhelming to have like this big pile of pictures. And these are the pictures that are just like, let me see if I can show you. Like, they're really old. They're like the square ones from the early 80s. So, and I also, like, like I scan them all, but I'm still, I like making things. So, um, so those categories I have are Halloween, Easter, and Christmas, my grandma and my grandpa, family and relatives, summer, summer, and these, the, the time frames for these are like 20 years span. So they're not in order or anything, but I can, that's how I, I'm doing my family albums. It's just like chunks of like summer, Christmas, Halloween. Um, those are some more old ones. Birthday parties, school. So um, this is the last of my stash and I just wanted to share this um, tip really quickly because if you have a big um, stack of old photos and there are a lot of reasons people don't go through them. I think one of the biggest ones, reasons that um, well, there are a couple I read online. I was re actually reading about it, and this one website said a lot of times if you've had people that have passed away, it's very hard to go through them, just get overwhelmed, or you're afraid you're not going to remember the people, and that's like a sign that you're getting older, or the third one is it's just too overwhelming. So the thing is, is get a bunch of envelopes, make your categories, throw them into piles, throw them into the envelopes, then you can take out each envelope one at a time. Okay, so that's my little tip today. Just one thing I did, probably so I could feel in control, because I feel so out of control because the wedding's coming. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And um, I'll be back later this summer to participate more in challenges and hauls and all everything like that. So I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.